Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with your internet connection on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer where you're running the Windows Network Diagnostic Tool and it says that there's a problem with the connection. Or the website is online but isn't responding to connection attempts. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in proxy, best result, you're going back to proxy settings, go ahead and open that up. And now that we have the proxy settings open here, make sure automatically the text settings is turned to the on position. So go ahead and just toggle it to the on position if it's not currently on. Once you're done with that, see if that has resolved the problem. Something else we can try here as well, if you close out of here, open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Into this command line window, you want to type in ipconfig, so I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Once it's done, it should say successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. It should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here at this time and restart your device. And then attempt to connect to the website you're having the problem with, and then hopefully that should have resolved the issue. If you're still having a problem, we can attempt to reset all of our network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you will need to enter back in your credentials once our computer restarts after we're done with this next step. So make sure you have your Wi-Fi passcode nearby because we are going to have to reset our Wi-Fi settings here. If you're using an Ethernet based connection, you can reset it as well, but you don't have to enter in a Wi-Fi password, obviously. So we're going to just open up the search menu again. Type in settings, best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select network and internet. And then you want to go on the right side and scroll down underneath advanced network settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And then where it says network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. Go ahead and left click on that. So this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes to confirm. And then at this point, you're going to have to close out of here, save and close out of any open programs and applications, and restart your computer. And hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a buzz, I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.